Welcome everybody, welcome to We Play in This Gaming, and today we're playing My Garage. Now, the devs just added, it's not, I don't think it's out yet, but you could go to the pizzeria, deliver a pizza, or pay $2,000, and be able to find a barn find. Now, I'm, I haven't tested this yet, but um, we're going to head over to the other town, and we're going to see... See what it's all about because i mean to be able to find a barn find okay and then uh so it doesn't despawn so i'm real curious to see what it's like so if the car is close to being running maybe we fix it up there and then drive it home so that's the plan um I guess I'll see you when we get to the pizzeria. All right, so I made it to the pizzeria. Now let's go in here. Um, I don't know how many pizzas I have to do. So, I mean, if I have to do a ton of pizzas, I'll probably just skip through it. Uh, delivery. If you fail to deliver, buy it. Okay. Oh, they've... Switched it up a little bit here. Pizza delivery. Not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Um. I don't know which ones. I mean, obviously, like. Probably the farther ones out, maybe. I don't know. We'll try the ones in town real quick. We'll just. Uh, backpack. Got it. Okay. Delivery. Get in the car. Yeah, this one should be... This one's probably walk right around the corner. Yeah. I think it's right over here. Now, I don't know how many of this, like I said, I don't know how many pizzas I'm going to have to deliver, but. Be somewhere right here. Pizza delivery is up front. All right. So I totally, I totally fell, failed at that one. Be somewhere right here. There it is. Wow. Um, okay, I guess I ate it. Okay, so no clicky the button. I am a bad pizza guy. I'll tell you that right now. This house right here. Okay, so that one didn't do it. So. I guess I'm going to do a couple of these run. Why do I keep jumping every time I walk in here? Um, I'm going to do a couple of these deliveries. It might be the farther out ones. So I'm going to keep doing these until I find one that says abandoned car to buy it. And then I'll come back. Well, you know, see, I rolled it the first time. See the big old dent in the roof and. And, you know, the dent in the corner panel and stuff. Yeah, I was just cruising along. Just filled it up. And the steering wheel kind of did one of these numbers. Yeah, there was a pole right there. So, this car is... Dust to dust. And, um... Yeah, so now I gotta go get another vehicle. Uh, what do we gotta use for a lot?
see what jalopy I can buy. So I still have not found a place for the pizza. Ooh, convertible scoop. Me like ye. 11 grand, you can keep it. All right, what you got? Guaranteed to fall apart. Got it. All right. So this thing will get you to point A to point B. Oh. But. I'm going to run it. So. All right. Well, we're going to go deliver some pizzas. So, uh, yeah. So I'll see you once I get back to the pizzeria. Okay. So here, I, I finally found one. So it says, I have an old barn that we wanted to bring down. It has some parts and a vehicle in it. Would you be interested in buying all the items? It would be $2,000, but it's just a fraction of what it's worth. I will mark the location on the map. Yeah. Okay. So on the map. That's scratch. Okay. I don't see it on the map. Did I just get bamboozled? Oh, it's right there. No, that's home. All right. So I guess I'm going to keep going. Um, once I find one and find the marking on the map, I'll be right back. So I did find this car right here. Um, after two hours of delivering pizzas, I finally found one. Now here's the barn. Uh, the barn find. Pretty cool old little pump. Uh, it's pretty raggedy in here. Um, so, an exhaust manifold, door panel. Grill. Shock. Derby bumper. And a lad coupe. So I paid $2,000 for this. Now, technically that's not bad because I could sell this car right now and make $3,000 profit. But that's not what we're doing here. Um, I want to drive this home. So we're going to do whatever it takes to get this thing running. Hopefully it's got everything to it. It looks like it should run. But let's load this thing up as much as I can. If I can. Well, uh, this. Here. And we'll do the same thing to the derby bumper. Maybe. Nope. Okay. All right. So we'll just throw the derby bumper in there. If we slam on the brakes, we'll get knocked out. That's good. Okay. There's that. Door panel. It's somewhere in shock. So, I mean, 2000 bucks for all this. Uh, okay. What else is here? What is this? Oh, a fuel tank. Okay. Trunk's definitely not going to shut. Got the trunk. Yeah, that's going in the back seat, along with everything else. There, now it shuts. Anything else in here? Let's turn some lights on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna do a walk around the building. So I mean, this isn't. This is a pretty good deal. So, I mean. Three grand profit on the car. And it doesn't seem to be that bad of shape. I mean, 
Fix up the rust, paint it. Double our money, triple our money, give or take. Keeping you guys await. Does it run? It does not. So, um, as far as I can see, it's out of fuel. So we're going to need some tools. Got a starter. Uh, battery cables are about fried. Alternator is about fried. There is no, no ignition to it. Well, just get in the car. Okay. Okay. So we got to get some fuel. You know what? I got us to play in here. So, um, wish we had some jumper cables. Oh, I can't take this off. No, I can't. All right. So, yes. Hmm. All right. Let's, let's load up this jalopy with all the stuff that's in this car. And then we'll take, I'll take this car back and we'll get some fuel, bring a battery, cables, and an alternator, some tools. That stuff can stay. So the bumper in here. I mean, this thing is pretty far off the beaten path. I mean, I'll bring up the map to show you guys real quick. So, now, when you get that message, you have to save the game, exit it, and then load back in, and then it'll give you the barn location, which my barn location, here's my garage, here's the barn location. So, it could be anywhere in on this map, that barn location. So... But I thought I got bamboozled and I actually made out like a bandit to be honest with you. So it's gonna take a little bit of work. I don't know. Let's let's scan the peepers on it and see what Okay, so it's definitely gonna need a curb. Starter's good. So pretty much just engine cables. Battery's probably dead. It looks good, but it's probably dead. All the plugs are there and these plug wires, oil filter. Let's check the Earl. Okay, Earl's good. Got coolant in it. So we're good there. I mean, it's got maybe brakes. I don't know. We'll find that out when we use them. And then uh, definitely going to need some air in the tires. We'll have to bring a pump. I think, I think we can do it guys. So, all right, well, I'm going to go back to the garage and then, uh, when I head back out this way, then I will, uh, pop back in. So you guys don't have to watch me driving. Okay. So I have everything in here. Um, we got to get some fuel in this bad boy and then, uh, we'll get on the road and go get this car. And hopefully bring it home. Now, I'll probably end up towing the truck back. You know, because I'm not going to need it. Once I get the car running, we're gone. We're on the road. So, be kind of like a, a vice grip garage if you hadn't seen that. It, I think it's going to be about that. Because, I mean, we don't know how long this thing's been sitting. And, you know. But, we're taking the old... Uh, Oopsie that we made on the uh, stream. See how I wrecked the other car. But this thing needs exhaust, so. Uh... Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm not gonna try to floor it. 
but oh uh, you know what let's let's put an exhaust on this it needs a manifold um i'll probably just steal it off this one need to pass your side so i need a wrench Take it off the lad that I totaled because we're going to have to fix this anyways. I totaled the race car getting pizzas. Figure that one out. So, there's a manifold I need. Now, Beats did do an update on F100. And it is now drivable. So, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Once I get this manifold changed so I don't blow your eardrums out. So, in with the new, out with the old. Uh, this thing does have a bad, bad transmission, so... No guarantees. We might make it. We might not. Cross, uh, cross all your fingers and toes. And hopefully we make it. So. Guess that's shut. Alrighty. So. Um. Yeah, I was amazed I seen her. So, if I sound like I'm underwater. Uh. It's from. Like. If my, no my nose itches and I start itching it. Makes me sound like I'm underwater for some reason, but, um, the ring, I think I got the ring out of the microphone. I've been messing with it, but look at this. It is drivable. I mean, before I couldn't even go this fast. Make sure everything's staying in the back. Yeah, you can drive. I mean, it's still a little top heavy, but I only got four gears. So, all right, well, I'm going to head there and then uh, we'll get the show on the road once I get there. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we got to take a little path off the road here. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I tell you what, man, it's so nice to be able to drive this truck. Like drive it legit. So, all right, let's back this puppy up. Hopefully, I'm telling you, I, I don't see anything in the back of the truck. Come on, dude. All right, it's all there. No, I can grab it all. Okay, we got fuel. More fuel. Power. I did grab a curb. Grabbed a coil just in case. And then new plug wires. I'm hoping that's all I will need. Okay, let's sleep real quick. Come on, get in the truck. Get some daylight on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing rain. Nope. Day two. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's get to this. Now, let's grab the tools. Get them setting right here. Okay, so. Need the wrench. So I guess I don't need the coil. I need the plug wires to grab the oil filter, but that's fine. We're not not too worried about it. We're going to live on the edge. Hopefully all this stuff will go back on. Good. But no guarantees. A 
Those bolts are a little bit wonky there. I guess they're... This is a stud and a nut, I guess. All right, so now we need the curb. So, I mean, if you guys enjoy this, I mean, I'll, I'll do some more pizza runs and we get a couple of these. I, I think I can only do one at a time for right now. But I mean, if you like, if you like what I'm doing, you let me know. That's going to suck if I just lost all that. There's that. There's air cleaner. No fear. We have. Found it. Okay. So. Y'all didn't see that. But. um, Yeah. I mean, if you like this stuff. You know. Leave it in the comments. You know. Was it cool? Was it bad? I mean. You know. You can disagree. You don't like it. Um. You know, I mean, if you don't like it, just tell me you don't like it. Okay, so I can't throw that. We'll just throw this in the trunk for now. Open. Here's that. Okay, we'll leave the trunk open. I'll grab the plug wires. Man, this frames per second. Get it in my lag here. Um, I don't know. It keeps updating the uh, game, so it's kind of, you know, He'd be like, oh, we fixed this, but then destroyed that. So that's what I've been dealing with lately. But this is a pretty cool, pretty cool deal here. I think adds a lot to the game. I mean, now you actually have a reason to go do pizzas. Besides money, what money, but to get cars and make money at it. I mean, it's pretty cool. So once it comes out, I mean... Then you guys can do that. Um, I did forget an alternator, I think. I think I did. Okay. Oh, I already got the back of the... There it is. Alright, there's that. Bad power cables. Junk. And then we get some, get these cables back in, get a new battery in. I think we'll be hitting the road, hopefully. Fingers and toes crossed. That's starter. Oh. Uh, that starter didn't look like it was in place. Okay, so the moment of truth. Will it fire? Fire and run. So, I mean, I still got to put fuel in it. So, get that. I don't know where I set this. Don't want to lose the fuel gap. I mean, at least they give you a little spot, a little platform to work with here. I do like it. Get this thing filled up, topped off, whatever, and see if she actually comes to life. And then we got air tires. So, I'll just chuck of that in the trunk. Whoa. Um, uh, garage is a little small. I mean, I could, I guess, I could have pushed it out. Noted. Note that for the next time. Push car out of the garage. That's already full. Cool. Okay, so we're good. We have extra. I love having extra fuel. Oh, I did play the survival the other day. Oh, actually, it wasn't the other day. It was like last week. But, um, holy moly, that's that's a rough one there. You guys play survival you're you're my hero so okay so the tools in the trunk uh 
Not gonna close, so we're gonna throw that in the back seat. There we go. Alright, moment of truth. No go. So I'm betting it's got some issues. Um, everything else looks fine. We got coil. I bet you it's got like bad everything. Probably got bad timing belt. So I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't fire. It's got to be something internal. I'll give it a couple more cranks. Not showing any fuel. I don't want to kill that battery because that's the only battery I got besides in the truck. So, oh man. I'm betting it's got four bad, it's got four bad pistons in it. I guarantee it. I mean, that's all there, all there is to it. So, uh, looks like we're rebuilding the motor right here. These tires aired up. Okay, so almost wondering if we should just do a heart transplant. Can't really see. Well, that's why it's not running right there. Timing chain. So, all right, I'm going to run back to the shop and I will see you when I get back. Okay, so now I'm back. I did grab some extra parts. Um, I grabbed pretty much everything so I didn't have to make another trip so uh let's put some light on the subject let's grab the tools back out of here throw them down all right so we need to take the valve cover off I'm guessing it has a bad cam in it because he the gears attached to the cam, so I just grabbed the whole cam. But yeah, I definitely hope you guys enjoy this video because I have a lot of time into this bad boy. Probably gonna be a 30 minute video for you guys and probably five hours for me. So. Okay, I was correct on the cam. And then go that in there so I don't lose it. Timing chain. I did grab a head gasket and pistons just in case. Thinking ahead. I mean, that's a long drive, so. I'm hoping after this, it will come to life. Hopefully. No guarantees. Okay, valve cover. Now, like I said, I did grab extra parts. So, I mean, if we break down going down the road, we can at least try to fix it. Put a band-aid on it. Okay. At least back here, because I want to throw all that in the car. All right. Start. Mm. 
Nothing. Hmm. Exactly what I thought. Now there's only one bad thing that I did not grab. I did not bring a jack. So, can we squeeze under here? I did grab, I did grab enough oil for sure. I'm not too worried about taking the pan out. I just hope the crank isn't bad. Uh, I think it is. Man, it's got bad water pump. It's got bad everything, man. Yep, it's got a bad crank. Got bad crank, bad flywheel. Holy moly. Yeah, that's why she won't fire. Look at that crank. I haven't seen one of those crank, the bad crank like that in a long time. Uh, looks like it's got a bad clutch in it too. Maybe. Kind of looking like that. So, got a bad transmission. I'm stuck. Dang it. I didn't grab a crank. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I just don't know. I don't know if the exhaust will work, but I am going to rip the motor out of this truck. Wow, he will not jump. Okay. Get this up there. I am bound and determined. But the only thing is, I'm going to have to drive drive home without any exhaust on this thing but hey i'll get it there one way or another okay here we go heart heart transplant i knew i should have brought a lad with me but and the trucks are on the way that's perfect um okay let's just rip this motor out real quick there we go Motor. Oop. Um. Not what I wanted to do. Right, stay. Stay. No. Stay. Good boy. All right. Now I gotta get this transmission out of here. Don't know if I can get under. Can't get underneath it. There's a bad fuel line. There's that. Now can I get can I can I get up in here? Give me transmission. There we go. Okay. All right. The exhaust might be hanging out the back of the car, but it's going to be well funny. <laughs> oh boy. If this works, I'm going to be amazed. But we got to get this thing home. One way or another, this thing is coming with me. Whether I'm pushing it down the road. No one will know. 
Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, it will. You know, I've never built a four cylinder truck. Never. Ever done one. Can you imagine the fuel mileage you'd get with this thing? All right. Now, can I get, can I get my teeth up underneath here? Come on. All right. Let me do it this way. Got it. Can't see what I'm doing, but I got it. Yeah. As long as they don't roll away, we'll be fine. Now, I gotta sleep. I can't do this darkness. I'm scared. Scared of the dark. Alright, where's the transmission? Please go your home. Yeah, I do got a wrench tightening. Okay, transmission's in. Now for the heart transplant, it means a motor. I'm real curious to see how far this exhaust sticks out. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about right there. Guaranteed to rip the exhaust off. Uh, what I'm doing? That. Okay, fuel line. Where'd it go? There it is. There. Okay, now we gotta throw some coolant in her. I mean, that is style and a profile. I mean, if we could just like whack it right off there, dude, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, what? What's that? Oh, I almost lost it. Almost lost it. Okay. All right. Now we're cooking with some fuel here. Now, as long as we have enough battery, if not, we'll take the one out of the truck. But, um, so this should fire up and run. So what we got to do is we got to put the transmission back in the F100. And then we can just tow that back to the garage. And then we'll load this thing up and we're headed for the hills. And if it don't fire, I'm going to bring a whole bunch of tannerite out here and we're going to explode it. Or just sell it. But I'm going to pull this motor back out of it. So. Next time, I'm just going to bring a trailer with the, the table on it. For the catalog, we'll bring that with me, and we won't have to worry about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But, um, okay, so this thing should fire up. Fire up. All right, we're golden. We're golden, boys. We're golden. All right, let's get this back in the truck. Thank you, donor truck. I can't see nothing. All right, we got to put at least a few bolts holding this in. There. Okay, let's load up. Uh, this is kind of junk. I guess we'll take it. All 
Alright, so the trunk is broken. That's mighty fine because let's say we got a back seat. I do have a backpack. So, okay. I guess there's a piece of glass there too I didn't see. Bonus. All right, let's tow this back to the garage. There's that. Now let's get in this jalopy. Shut the door, trip over the exhaust pipes. Oh, blue. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. Moment of truth. Now, as long as the brakes work. Backpack full. Thank you. All right. Flip that up. Oop. Not only if we can get out of here. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze. Look at there. Okay, now I gotta figure out where the road is. Okay, so the road's up here. I told you guys, man, I told you I was going to get this thing back to the house one way or another. Uh, fuel gauge doesn't work, but that's fine. We have a fuel can. The road should be right here. I think. There it is. Cool. Brody. Kind of a good thing I uh, did change that manifold. Alrighty. Well, I will see you when I get back to the garage. Okay, so shortly after taking off, I have lost brakes. So I'm using my e-brake to stop this thing. But I am almost home and I have not wrecked it yet. Knock on wood. But yeah, it, it was uh, pretty, quite scary coming over the mountains and uh, not having any brakes coming down. So, but good thing I got the e-brake hooked up and I'm using that to stop it. So that's good. I'll show you here in a minute if you don't believe me. But, um, so we're in fourth gear, brakes to the floor, I have no brakes, e-brake. Downshift it. But we are home. All right, so what should we do with this thing? Um... Set it off. Okay. The jalopy is home. Safe and sound. Uh, did not wreck it once. But what do we do with this thing? Uh, you let me know. You let me know in the comments of what we should do. Uh, do we do we do a full restoration on it? I mean, it's clean. A little rust there. No, let's let's be bopper backwards a little bit. I think this hose will reach. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, look at that blue. I'm liking that blue. Wow, couldn't even tell it was that color. That's a nice blue. I bet you that's the original color. Got a little bit of rust on the doors. 
open the back door anyways. Get this thing shined up a little bit. I mean, this thing would be worth some money. So, I mean... Throwing $2,000 out for a barn fine that you can get the majority of your money back. I mean, I would have had more money if I didn't have that backpack mod. Because the backpack mod screwed up and showed everything undefined. So I lost all those parts. Like the grill and stuff that I had. Lost all that, so... That's great, but overall, I mean, this thing is, he's a sol solid going to town for sure. And all the windows are there. They're not cracked. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. 5,900 with the V8 in it. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.